Hi guys, Ryan here from Rode, and I am extremely excited to talk to you about our latest product. This is the Stereo Video Mic X. This is the most advanced stereo mic for on-camera use available in the entire market. Firstly, we've got true condenser capsules. So these are externally biased true condenser capsules that usually you'd only find on mics that have to run 48 volt phantom power but we've got this microphone running off a nine volt battery. Now the capsules are suspended by a multi-axis thermoplastic suspension running the Rycote Lyre technology that we've slightly adapted to fit into this small form factor. The important thing here is that you're gonna suspend from all angles, no matter where you're kind of bumping the microphone, whether it's the camera itself where you're controlling, whether you're holding it on a boom pole or on a pistol grip, you're never gonna have any worries with shock to the microphone itself. Moving on to the actual body of the microphone itself, this is a cast aluminium body, and it's also got some machined billet aluminium parts. So where the actual suspension joins the microphone is machined aluminium, just to make sure that you've got a totally precision fit so that there's no acoustic vibrations getting through the microphone itself. We've also got a machined aluminium shoe, and the actual locking thread for the shoe is machined as well. So you've got super precision components that are actually attaching the mic to your camera. Now the reason we've gone with this design is so that you can have a nice solid body that attaches to your camera without the actual suspension being affected at all if you bump the outside of the microphone. Now having the capsule level suspension means that we've got independent suspension on each capsule, ensuring that you've got the best available suspension for the microphone. Now the body itself being an all aluminium body means that we've got exceptional RF protection on this microphone here. So, Basically, it's working like a Faraday cage with the electronics almost entirely encapsulated in metal, meaning that you're never gonna have any worries if you're in a Wi-Fi zone, whether you've got UHF frequencies running with wireless units on your camera as well, this is definitely the microphone to go for. Now, moving on to the actual buttons themselves, we've got electronic switching on this microphone here. Now, the power button itself is a one and a half second press and hold to turn it on so that you'll never bump it in your camera bag if you forget to take the battery out. And the switches themselves are just press button switches, but the nice thing about it is that they've got a really nice solid tactile feel. These are three Newton high tactile switches, so you're never gonna bump them without meaning to. Now, the actual controls themselves, we've got a minus 10 dB pad for when you're recording in those loud scenarios. One of our demo videos that we did, we just recorded a 599 Ferrari, which is insanely loud when you've got the microphone close, but we ran the minus 10 dB pad and the audio was absolutely pristine. You've also got the zero dB level and then a plus 20 dB level. If you're running into a camera that doesn't have the best preamp, you can actually run this insanely high quality audio out of the microphone and turn down the preamp on that camera and make sure that all the noise on that camera's preamp is turned down so that you've got super pristine audio going into the camera from the mic. Now, above that, we've got two different filter options for the mic. So other than the flat, you've got a 75 Hertz filter. If you just want to cut out any potential low frequency rumble if you're in insanely high winds, You've also got a 150 Hertz filter. So if you really want to accentuate speech in an environment where there's a lot of low frequency noise, you can pop on that 150 Hertz filter and you're going to really focus in on the voice when someone's talking. And the really cool feature that we've got on this mic is a plus six dB shelf at about 5K. And the reason for that is that we've got some advanced wind protection options on this microphone. Now, when you're running indoors, if you're in a studio environment, you don't need to have any wind protection at all. You can actually run the capsules bare as they are, as long as you're not moving the microphone around too much. Now, keep in mind, this is running our cardioid capsules that's been you know, proven time and time again on our NT5, NT55, NT6, and NT4 series microphones. These are all broadcast grade microphones for music and the broadcast video industry that we've actually put into this small microphone. So, when you are actually moving around with the mic, you're gonna to need to make sure that you use our little blimp style windshield. Now this is running a low density foam with a nice silicon outer structure just to kind of cut down on the wind when you're moving inside or if you've got a light breeze. Now inside the foam is contoured to make sure that it doesn't hinder the shock mounting in any way. And it's also got a nice structure around the outside made of the same thermoplastic that we make our suspension out of to make sure that you can get a nice feel when it clicks onto the microphone, the windshield's never gonna come off, and it's also never gonna sag or break or snap in your camera bag because it's made out of a virtually indestructible plastic. So if you're shooting indoors, you run the blimp style windshield like this, and when you're shooting outdoors, we recommend that you use the furry windshield, which has got a silicon membrane around the outside to make sure that it seals nicely with the mic so that no wind gets in the back, and it's also 
We've got a synthetic fur on the outside and a lower density foam on the inside of the actual windshield itself. And once again, it's contoured to make sure that it doesn't affect the shock mounting of the microphone. Now, once you've got this furry windshield on, if you bump it up to plus 6 dB, what you're actually doing is reversing any of the effects that you've got when you put on a really high density, high quality windshield like this one here. Basically, you might lose a little bit of the high frequency when you're outdoors. So if you pop the plus 6 dB filter on, you're basically negating any of the bad effects of having a windshield on and only keeping the good ones, which is obviously insanely high protection from wind. Once again, if you watch the launch video that we, we've released with the Ferrari running, we had this microphone on the back of a Ferrari running at full speed and you can barely hear any wind at all. That's how good the windshield is. Now, when we're talking about the usability of the microphone and how it's gonna interface with your camera, the first option that you have is a 3.5 output on the microphone and the Stereo VideoMic X is actually gonna ship with the SC2 patch cable, which basically lets you plug it into the mic itself and then you can actually stretch that around to any input on your camera that has a 3.5 mil. You also have the option of mini XLRs. Now what this does is it allows you to run a balanced signal, so a completely noise-free signal, into any professional camera that has XLR inputs. We'll also shortly be releasing a range of mini XLR to male XLR patch cables so that you can actually pick the right length cable for your particular rig. Now the microphone runs off a standard nine volt battery and it's got a captive battery door that's spring-loaded and we've got the serial number laser etched on the inside of the battery door. Now with the Mini XLR inputs, you can actually run the microphone off the phantom power from your camera and you can also run Mini XLRs and the 3.5mm jack at the same time. So if you've got multiple recording devices, you can run them both off the same microphone. Now as you can tell, we are extremely excited about the Stereo Video Mic X. So if you'd like to hear some examples, click the links below and you can hear why this microphone is the best quality stereo mic available for on-camera use.